Hello friends. This video on unit and measurement part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched unit and measurement part 1 to part 7 before going ahead with part 8. We have studied the different kinds of errors. We will study significant figures. So what do we mean by significant figures? In any number with decimal point and a large number of digits following the decimal point, we say that all reliable digits plus the first uncertain digit. These two things together constitutes the significant figures. Let us take an example. Let us say if we say a distance as 24.567 meters. So how many significant figures are there in this number? All reliable digits that is 2, 4, 5 and 6. They are all reliable digits. And the last digit that is the terminating digit is always the uncertain digit. So here we have 2, 4, 5, 6 as reliable digits and 7 as the uncertain digit. So the total number of significant figures in this number is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So this number has 5 significant figures. Let us say we say that your weight is 45.3 kgs. So how many significant figures are there? Here the reliable digits are 4 and 5 and 3 is the uncertain digit. Therefore we have 3 significant figures. There are a certain rules which need to be followed for defining significant figures. So we'll discuss each of the rules. The first rule, all non-zero digits are significant. We write any number, say we write some, we have something like 42.694321. All are non-zero digits, so they are all significant. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8 significant digits in this number. Right? Second one, all zeros between non-zero digits are significant. For example, let us suppose we have something like 4.092034. So here we have zero between non-zero digits like zero between four and nine, again zero between two and three. So these zeros are also significant. So even in this number, how many significant digits we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have 7 significant digits here. Terminal zeros without a decimal point are not significant. For example, we consider any number say 47000. How many significant digits are there? In this case, the terminal zeros, that means there is no digit after this zero. So these zeros and they do not have a decimal point. So these zeros are not considered to be significant. So if I ask you how many significant digits are there in this number, there are only two significant digits because these zeros are not considered. So whenever you have zeros at the end and there is no decimal point at all, in that case the zeros are not considered significant. Keep a note of this point. Again, the terminal zeros with a decimal point are significant. So without a decimal point is not significant, but with a decimal point is significant. For example, we have something like 4.700. In this case, if I ask you how many significant digits are there, you have 1, 2, 3, 4. Because 
even though the zeros are the terminal zeros, but you have a decimal point. Therefore, in this case, you have four significant figures. The next is for a number less than one, zeros on the right of decimal point, but left of first non-zero digit are not significant. Let us take an example which will make it more clear. Suppose we have any number which is less than 1, something like this, 0 0.0154. In this case, the zeros which are on the right of the decimal point, but left of the first non-zero digit. So first non-zero digit is 1. So if you consider this 0, it lies between 1 and it lies after the decimal point. So this 0 will not be a significant digit. Even this 0 will not be a significant digit. So in this case, we have just 3 significant digits. Okay, so let us quickly review the rules. First is, all non-zero digits are significant. Second, all zeros between non-zero digits are significant. Terminal zeros without a decimal point are not significant. But terminal zeros with a decimal point are significant. So do not get confused with the third and the fourth point. Remember it, when there is no decimal point, then the number is no significant. If there is a decimal point, then the number is significant. So no decimal point, no significant. Decimal point is there, so it is significant. So whenever you have terminal zeros without a decimal point, it is not significant. Whenever you have terminal zeros with a decimal point, they are significant. And the last one, for, digit, for numbers less than one, the zeros after the decimal point but before the first non-zero digit, they are also considered not significant. Another point to note here is change of units should not change the number of significant figures. For example, let us suppose we have measured some length as 43.2 centimeters. So how many significant digits are there? 1, 2, 3. They are all non-zero digits. So they are all significant. So we have 3 significant figures. Now, if we convert the same figure into some other unit, that is, we converted it from centimeters to meters. So, it became 0 0.432 meter. In this case, this 0 will not be considered significant because it is before the decimal point. So, again, we have three significant figures. If we convert it into kilometers, it is 0 0.000432 kilometers. In this case, again this zero will not be significant and these zeros will also not be significant according to the last rule because they are after the decimal point but before the first significant digit. So even here, the number of significant figures would be 3. So ideally, Whenever you change the unit, the number of significant figures should remain unchanged. However, there are certain ambiguities in significant figures. That is, there are certain contra controversial facts regarding the significant figures. We'll see that. The ambiguities lie with the terminal zeros rules. For example, the rules say, if the terminal zeros, we'll recall the rules quickly, the two rules will, will say is terminal zeros with decimal point significant. Terminal zeros, no decimal point, not significant. So this, this was stated in the rules. Now we see this example. 
Let us take this example 5.700 meters. According to the rules, these are the terminal zeros with a decimal point. So they should be significant. So how many significant figures you have? Four. Now you convert the same thing into centimeters, you get 570.0 centimeters. In this case, again you have four significant figures. Now you convert the same value into millimeters and you get 5700 millimeters. Now in this case, there is no decimal point and you have terminal zeros. So these two zeros will not be considered significant and the number of significant figures will reduce to two. So this is an ambiguity because we just now learned that the change of units should not change the number of significant figures. So how to resolve this contradiction? To get rid of this contradiction, was developed another thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again